All right, we're going to start keeping salamanders. And this is uh, an adolescent stage of salamander, and it's called a water dog or a water devil. And they're pretty interesting because they have external gills, and those are those uh, strange horn-looking things. Um, the idea for survival for keeping these is um, you could use them as bait, I guess, but uh, I'm thinking more about the survival of the salamanders. A lot of our riparian areas are disappearing in this state, and in our property, we've almost created a little microclimate attracting butterflies, bees, birds, and uh, now salamanders. We've got about 20 of these guys, and hopefully they all do well. So if you want to keep water dogs at this stage, they pretty much have the same needs as a, a fish, like a goldfish. Um, room temperature water and filtration being the main thing they would need. So they should do just fine in there. They'll change to a salamander um, in their own time. It's uh, usually cued by a lack of water or um, size, I imagine. So that was the first one that we let go, and uh, we're going to put several in here. I'm going to let another one go here into the koi pond. At this stage, they're not an amphibian and need to just stay submerged. It's after they lose those external gills and become a salamander that they will um, be able to climb out of the water and you'll usually find them under a log or something near water. Can't really see them. But uh, we'll go get some more and let them go. Now I got these guys lit up for you so you can see them real well. And I'm going to be breeding these because you can't get them for bait in Arizona anymore. And these are brought in from New Mexico, actually. And I'm not going to be using them for bait, but I'm just going to be trying to increase the salamander population in Arizona. Or at least in my backyard. Water devils. Alright, we're here at the hydroponics area. We're going to let another one of these water dogs loose. I'm going to put it in here with these clams. Freshwater clams have been doing awesome. About a dozen of them in there some goldfish and some freshwater shrimp and now we got that water dog in there and they can eat just these uh, sinking sinking uh, flakes for turtles or whatnot and when they turn into salamanders they like to eat worms but at any rate um, I'll see if they like those little shrimp too don't know if you can see the water dog in here but the creation my son made for homeschool and the idea is this is an escape proof habitat for an amphibian and the water dog will live down here in the water these plant roots and when he is old enough he'll go up the tube which goes around and comes out at the top and he can enjoy his amphibian life. So another thing for homeschool project with water dog. Still got quite a few of these guys left. I'm going to put one in each of my kids fish tanks and uh, so they'll be a, a fun inexpensive pet and something that can always be um, let loose again since it, it can survive out in, uh, in nature in our area. So there you go. Get yourself a whole bunch of water dogs and set them free. And if you need to, well, I guess you could always use them for bait. But uh, they're fun pet for the kids and easy to keep.